Hello, ladies. Well, hello, everybody. But today, my video is for the ladies. My video message is stop thinking every woman wants your man. The reason why I'm making this video is because there are so many insecure, bitter, paranoid women that walk the earth every single day. It's just the truth. And when it comes to a man, I've seen women act completely out of their character over a man that's really not even worth you even getting angry about. Now, a lot of times a woman will become insecure, jealous, bitter, and paranoid because she's been with many men or a man that has repeatedly cheated on her. He's a liar and he's just overall put her through a lot of stuff. So when it gets to a point where the woman is in a relationship and she sees her man or her husband talking to another woman outside of her, she will sometimes automatically assume that that woman wants her man. Now, let me be real with you, ladies. I, I can only be honest with you. Everybody does not want your man. And I don't think a lot of you all want to accept this and you don't want to acknowledge that. But just because you find your man attractive and just because this particular man in your life does it for you, that does not mean that every other woman that interacts with that man feels the same way that you do. It is some attractive men out here that a lot of women want, but every single woman that you see talking to that man, they don't want them. I see attractive men all day, but I don't want them. They're not my type. Uh, I'm not interested in them. I have like no connection with them at all. I'm not interested, but I will have a conversation with them. If they're intelligent and they talking about something that interests me, I don't mind having a couple of laughs and having a conversation. I mean, I talk to anybody, male or female. That's just what it is. That's how people are. We communicate. I'm a very uh, sociable person. I'm a people person. However, when it comes to women, I'm going to be real with you guys and I'm going to go a little bit further. You women know if you're with a man that's a whore or that's a dog. You already know. Some of you all are married to a man that you already know is a cheater. You know he's a liar and you know that he struggles with lust. And you know that his downfall and his weakness is sex or women. You already know this. But for you to look at another sister, another woman... And automatically assume that that woman is trying to take your man or that woman wants your man due to things he's put you through with, you know, other women or other men you've been with in the past. You are wrong if you're doing that. You are wrong. And you need to evolve from that type of mentality and behavior. Now, ladies, you all don't have to listen to me or take my advice on anything. You really don't. But I'm sure it's been hundreds of you all that's viewing this video. And there has been a man that you were with at one point in your life or you're currently with one now. And every time you see him talking to or interacting with the opposite sex, you get an attitude about it. And you're making an assumption that that woman wants your man and she's trying to get him. Let me explain something to you, ladies. No man is perfect. No woman is perfect. No husband is perfect. All of us have issues. But let me tell you, when a man is truly, truly in love with you, there is nothing any woman can do or say to get that man to come and lay with her or deal with her. I have seen it with my own eyes. I'm not one of these women out here just because I got cheated on before. I'm not one of these women that feel like and believe in my head that all men are dogs. <laughs> like that's the most insane thing. All men are not dogs and all men are not cheaters. They're, they're not. They're really not. It is. I'm sorry. There are some very faithful men out here and they will check a woman in a minute that tries to come on to them, that says something to them inappropriately. If they're texting them, they will ignore them. If they're inboxing them on Facebook or sending them direct messages on Instagram whatever, however, even sending them naked pics, whatever it is, that man will put the woman in her place or these women, they will check them if they really, really do love you. 
I'm just here to tell you that I, I have male friends that I know personally and I've seen them check other women that have tried to come to them and they want to sleep with them. And they are married. Some of them, some of my male friends are married and some of them are just living with they, uh, the mother of their children or they just currently have a girlfriend. But ladies, if a man truly, truly loves you, he won't really put you in that position where you even have to worry about or feel threatened by another woman. It just won't happen. I'm not saying men don't make mistakes, okay? I don't know any woman personally, and I'm being real, and I'm including myself in this. I don't know any woman that has never been cheated on. Seriously, I don't know any woman on this earth that has never, ever been cheated on. I know a lot of arrogant women that have said, oh, I know my husband not going nowhere. Oh, I know my man's not going to cheat on me because I'm doing this, 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 and this at home. But baby girl, let me explain something to you. It does not matter what you're doing at home. It doesn't matter how you cook, how you clean, how great and grand you are in the bedroom. It does not matter if a man has his mind made up and he wants to cheat on you, he's going to cheat. A lot of times some men are opportunists. If they had an opportunity to sleep with another woman and get away with it and you won't find out about it, they will go out and they will do it. Now that may sound harsh. Some of you guys in your own arrogance and human ego, you don't want to accept that, but it's just the truth. So in my video message, ladies, I'm just telling you, stop thinking that everybody wants your man. A man is going to be true and faithful to you because it's a choice. It is a choice. But you need to stop thinking that every time you see another woman talking to your husband or your baby daddy or your boyfriend, whoever, whatever the title is, stop thinking that every woman wants your man. Because every woman does not want your man. Your man just may be funny or a, a charismatic guy. He just may be a really cool guy. Other women know you're a man. And your man knew other women before you walked into his life. I addressed this in another video of mine. But I'm putting it out there again because it's even Christian women. Christian women. I've seen it in my ministry and in other places. It's even Christian women of God that have slandered the characters and names of other women uh, because they assume that when a woman is talking to a married man or just any man that she wants him. And ladies, let me tell you something. Stop thinking that the beat up ran down women that are not really that clean they don't dress the best their hair is all over their head and they ignorant stop thinking that your man would not want them because i've seen with my own eyes the most ran down ratchet woman that people be saying she dirty or she big and fat and sloppy or she's a dummy when stuff hit the fan and when it's investigations going on and a lot of stuff is dug up you will actually find that the woman that you was not threatened by your man actually was having sex with her i'm being honest with you i'm being real with y'all i'm not about to filter this video i'm telling you the real real trust me if you want to hear the real i'm gonna tell you the real i've seen the most ratchet women christian women women outside the church Women everywhere, all walks like the most ran down woman that you feel comfortable standing there talking to your husband. I didn't see these women hanging out with the wife or with the girlfriend, going out with them, drinking with them, eating with them, making comments on a Facebook and Instagram pictures and posts. But then something to hit the fan and you'll find out that the beat up, ran down, ratchet woman, your man actually was calling her and sleeping with her. And the ones that was put together, who's pretty, who dresses nice, hair is done, they uh, walk around gracefully. The, the ones that you thought your man wanted or that was trying to take your man, you found out that ain't even who they are. That is not even who that woman is. So some of you women, you've made a very big mistake. Some of you all have misjudged some women that you've come in contact with. I've been the victim of people even lying on me saying, oh, she's talking to so-and-so. Watch her. She's trying to get her man. Well, she likes him. And it's not even that the conversation that I've had is pure. And I don't talk to anybody. I don't care what anybody says or what they think about it. I will talk to anybody. I'm grown. Um, God knows my heart. Uh, and, and I know me and people that really, really know me, they know me. So I'm going to talk to males or females. I mean, I, I'm a sociable person. But for anybody to just stay negative about that or think that it's mess in the midst of that, it's just sad. So that's my video message to you, ladies. And I hope you guys listen to it because it would behoove you to remember, sweeties.
everybody does not want your man. 